Good morning. What are the two first visions that God gives Jeremiah? We're looking at Jeremiah chapter 1, and we're at verses 11 to 16. Here's what it says. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. Then the Lord said to me, You have seen well, for I am ready to perform my word. And the word of the Lord came to me the second time, saying, What do you see? And I said, I see a boiling pot, and it is facing away from the north. Then the Lord said to me, Out of the north calamity shall break forth on all the inhabitants of the land. For behold, I am calling all the families of the kingdoms of the north, says the Lord. They shall come, and each one set his throne at the entrance of the gates of Jerusalem, against all its walls all around, and against all the cities of Judah. I will utter my judgments against them concerning all their wickedness, because they have forsaken me, burned incense to other gods, and worshipped the works of their own hands. So now first God shows Jeremiah this little almond branch, this young branch coming after the winter. Here comes the almond branch. And this is showing him that the judgment of God is imminent. It is now just about to happen. The country declined further and further into wickedness, into idolatry, into apostasy. It's just, it's just been spinning down. And finally now we're, we're pretty much near the bottom and God is going to work now. Do you think that Jeremiah smiled after he received this vision? I don't think so. Because now he knows that God's going to act and he knows the nation hasn't been repentant. It hasn't uh, had revival. It hasn't sought for revival. It, it hasn't turned back to God. There's been no reformation of behavior. So Jeremiah knows what's coming next. This is going to turn their world upside down. Now, the second vision that Jeremiah is given is also quite interesting. So here's this boiling pot, and it's specifically said it's facing away from the north. Now, you might know that historically, Israel, there were two routes uh, for invasions into Israel. From the south, up across through Egypt, and coming up from the south, and the other was across the Fertile Crescent, and then down from the north. These are the two classic invasion routes uh, again and again and again throughout history. He sees the boiling pot and it's facing away from the north. So this means that there's trouble ready to boil over and pour out over into Israel. Now another thing we find in our text is that the target of this invasion is clearly delineated. It's right here in the text. They're coming to the gates of Jerusalem. God is sending judgment against his people to the gates of Jerusalem. And why? Why this invasion? Why this judgment of all their wickedness? Because they've forsaken me and because of their idolatry. They have uh, sought out other gods. They've made other gods. And so God's judgment is coming. It, it, now this just seems like doom, doom, and, and, and more doom. But there has to be a tearing down. There has to be a removal of apostasy before there's blessing and revival. So now Jeremiah knows that God will speak through him in a last ditch effort to reform his people. It's just, this is, this is the end. This is, this is like one of the last calls, the final warning type situation. And there aren't too many signs it's going to be well received. But God will speak whether they'll hear him or not through his prophets. What about us? Where have we declined? Where do we need to repent? Where do we need to be turning back to God? Where do we need to reform? I don't see a lot of reform in churches today. I see a lot of deform. I see churches continually uh, falling over to the latest cultural disaster, the latest cultural nonsense that comes along. The church is just supinely just accepted and, and incorporated into what they're doing. We need to be careful that we are coming up to higher ground and we are not declining. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to hear the message to Jerusalem, the message to the southern tribes here of Judah and Benjamin, the southern kingdom. Lord, bless, we pray, by helping us to be able to hear, able to, to turn, able to reform. Help our hearts to come back to you, Lord. May we forsake our idolatries and our nonsenses and our, our absorption into the cowardice of this age, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. May we be better reformers than the kings of Judah we're going to see, than they're going to be. May we be more faithful in this our emergency hour. God be with you today.